Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. Today we are going to junk stock for the very first time. It's been here in Nebraska for 10 years now, twice a year, and I've never been to it. There's going to be over 200 vendors of just a whole bunch of stuff and I'm super excited. We're going to be looking for some different decor for the Airbnb that we might come across. Maybe even some furniture pieces that could work up there as well. I can't wait. So let's head in. It is a beautiful Saturday, a little tad bit windy, of course, because good weather usually brings high winds here in Nebraska, yeah. but we're going to take you guys along. Might not be talking too much because the wind, so, right. but enjoy the beautiful B-roll that we'll grab. Yeah, and then if we get anything at the end, stick around because we'll give you a haul and show you everything that we bought. Give you guys a little preview too of what's going on in the Airbnb. The people that don't watch this video are gonna kind of miss out. So I think we should like this video and make sure you subscribe from it so that everybody can see all the goodies that we're getting for the Airbnb. figure out what we're gonna have to eat a bunch a bunch of local food trucks out here so we just got to decide on one
like that one. How much is that in? Eight. Eight? How about the NASA too? Is that a Cowboys one? You just hit the gold mine. You just hit the gold mine. All right, I want all three of them. This one's 65. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe not. It's a little bit steep there. Maybe I can get a deal. How, what, how much is that one? Check that one. Eight. Eight? Okay. Any more in there? The 49ers. Oh, that's clean. Kind of. I don't know if I like that one as much. It's only 15. furniture. I've seen these be used for that reason and just kind of gives you a little bit of a different texture and just kind of drape it on your dressers maybe in a wooden bowl or something like that. So I might have to get one of these. like a specific accent accent color <laughs> the blue is my accent and then we can have like some different mid-century vintage tones come in like we got that kind of reddish orangish color with the plant stand the plant holder I saw that and I was like gold this is really pretty a lot of this stuff I have to do in the shop my brother did work for years just Pretty cool too. I like that. For your little mini plant. This is a fake plant. There's another. There's another hook that has the teal color. Do we do that one instead and keep like make the teal come in the hallway somehow? Because I hadn't had a way that the teal color was gonna come in the hallway just yet. So maybe that's maybe that's the one we do. I think that's got my vote. Yeah, not yeah. that one. Yeah. Yeah. So I did some years ago. My sister gave it to me, and I don't know. I bet I don't even have it. Hold on. They were five cuts. Seventy-five. Not Make sure there's not any others around that are like that here. <laughs> that's too teal, right? Right there. Yeah, that's too bright. Plus, it doesn't have the hooks. True. What do you think? Yeah. Let's do it.
little bit too short. I'm what? like, is it though? So I'm looking for a coffee bar style, that oh, something that I can turn into a coffee bar for the kitchen and the Airbnb. It needs to be about this wide, but we're kind of trying to find something just a tad bit taller than this. I feel like this might work. He even says this might be too short, but this is definitely the style that I'm on the hunt for. Whether I paint it or not, I'm not actually for sure. It depends on the shape it's in. Because if it was like this, I honestly might just change out the hardware and like call it good. I know I usually paint stuff, but I'm also sort of going for like a different look in this Airbnb. So just unsure yet. But maybe. It's 150. It's not bad. So we're going to Haven this year and the party night is 90s prom. So Lauren's scoping out this vintage tent for some ideas. I think she should go. Where'd it go? Yeah, I think that's the move right there to be honest. But she ain't feeling that one. Are Hi. these old dresses? I believe so. Couldn't promise you though. I know rugs are like crazy. I'm just saying we made out on that other That's one. That's what I'm saying. Like, crazy. Yeah. Steal the video. too big for Penny right now though. Then she can grow into it. And then well, Pearl this can... one for Pearl. Pearl. It's just like a bit bigger. Or there's that one. And so that's what's going to be expensive. That seems too big as well. For Penny? For Penny? For Pearl, for Pearl I mean. yeah. I feel like we should get this one for Pearl. Oh, I kind of like this one. That's what I have. Oh, that is? Oh, That's I didn't what I'm see the legs holding. on it. My bad. Alright. There's one. We need another one. We just want to get twinsies. I don't know if I want. I don't want to get them here. You don't want to get them? Yeah. No go? Can go out. Change okay. We don't feel like coming back and I don't know I'm just not sure if it's the vibe anyway so that was so much fun we're definitely coming back in the fall it's about time to head home and I'm gonna show you everything that we got we're back home it's been a couple of days but we've been working hard in the Airbnb so I finally am taking a moment to show you guys everything that we picked up at junk stock the last thing that I actually picked up were a couple of headbands that are handmade I've got a couple and I just was ready for some new ones I love to wear these when I flip furniture keeps those little wispies out of my face and then I got this cute t-shirt which says junk stock on the front. It's Comfort Colors. That is a great brand. It's so soft. And then on the back, it's got a quote there. So I'm excited to wear that shirt. 
Now for the good stuff. Those are just some personal things for me. All right, the very first thing that we picked up was this vintage rug. We have no idea any information about it, but we knew that when they told us it was only $25, that we could not pass it up. So we decided that this is going to go into the Airbnb somewhere, not sure where yet, maybe the kitchen, maybe the sunroom, maybe the bedroom, who knows. But we love the vintage vibe that it's got. It's old. It even has a hole in it somewhere, not a too big of one, just a little slit. Um, but this is just half of the size of it. So just it's double this size. So look out for that when we start decorating the Airbnb. All right, so what do we got in here? Ah, yes, we got some beads here that I thought were going to be really great for styling, um, whether it be in the Airbnb or for staging furniture. I just thought that these neutral beads would be great, um, a great way to add some texture. Oh, this one's great, you guys. We ended up grabbing this sign to put in the Airbnb. I think it's hilarious, and I feel like our guests will also think that it's hilarious. It is for the bathroom and it says yes, no. So yes, sit on the toilet. No, don't bend over and blow everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So that will be a funny little perk in our Airbnb. And then last in here is a little macrame plant holder here. We hope to get a lot more of these as well, um, but to hang them from the ceiling and do a cute little plant in there. We might even put our current plant in there if we get a plant, uh, a pot to re repot them. And then I think this is the last thing. This is probably one of my favorite things too, but this is the hook situation that we've got going on here. It's handmade. This is gonna be in the Airbnb as well. In the hallway area is my thought right now. It might change, who knows? Um, but yeah, that is our haul for Junk Stop, the first, oh no, not Junk Stop, Junk Stock, the first time that we ever went there. It's been here in Omaha for 10 years and we cannot wait to go back in the fall. They'll have some of the same vendors, some different vendors, and it'll all be harvest themed. So I'm really excited to check that out in the fall. And of course, we'll bring you guys along with us then as well. So let us know what you guys think of this video. I hope that you had fun coming along with Neiman and I as we just got to see all of those cool booths, whether it be handmade items or vintage finds. It was just such a fun and beautiful day out there at Junk Stock. So give this video a like, like Neiman said at the very beginning, and be sure to get subscribed so that you can see all of this decor get put into the Airbnb. We're excited to share our progress with you guys here in the next couple of days. So keep on the lookout for that. But in the meantime, we'll see you on the flip side.